Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate one of the latest features that got introduced as part of Selenium 4 initiative, that is intercepting the network traffic logs. So let's get started. First of all, what exactly are these network traffic logs? Let me explain manually first. For that, I'll open this example URL. I'll right click on any blank area of this page and select the inspect option. Then I'll get this Google Chrome DevTools here under the page. Now I'll select this network tab. At this moment, there are no network log displayed here. But the moment I refresh this page, you see all the resources on this page. Okay, for each and every resource on this page, there are a lot of requests that are being sent to the server. Okay, when you load this application URL, lot of requests are being sent to the server, right? Those are nothing but the network logs. So here when I click on one of this. You see you will get a request URL and it has a get method. Okay, so you are trying to get some information from the server. Okay. Similarly, a lot of things are there guys. Okay, each and everything here is a request that is being sent to the server. All these are nothing but the network logs. Now using selenium, I want to retrieve the information about this network logs. Let's say I want to get the URL and the request method request URL and request method of each and every request that is being sent to the server from this network logs. Okay, I want to get that information using selenium. I want to do that for that guys. I'll demonstrate right away. I'll open this Eclipse ID here inside the main method. I'll write the code web driver manager dot Chrome driver dot setup here. The sample project is already configured with selenium 4 guys. So I'm writing the code directly chrome driver driver is equal to new chrome driver. I need to create an object for the chrome driver class for the mouse and import this chrome driver from selenium library. Now say driver dot manage dot window dot maximize after maximizing the browser window. I will not immediately open the application URL here. Okay. Before I open the application URL, before that, I will run few commands via Chrome DevTools protocol to intercept the network logs. For that, I have to write this code driver dot get DevTools. Okay. Using this driver object reference, I'll call this method get DevTools. For the mouse, it will return you the DevTools. DevTools is equal to. Okay. For the mouse, and say create local variable. Now using this dev tools object reference. First, I will create a cool Chrome dev tools session. Okay, dev tools session I will create after creating the Chrome dev tools session here. Then next one is I will execute few commands. Okay, related to the Chrome dev tools protocol. What is that command? The command is to enable this network. Okay, for this particular network traffic logs to be retrieved or in intercepted. Okay, first I have to enable the network for that. What is the command for enabling the network? So I need to Google search for Chrome dev tools. Okay, just Google search for Chrome dev tools protocol here. Chrome dev tools protocol. Then you will get this GitHub link GitHub pages link. Just click on that link. It will take you here. Chrome dev tools protocol page. It will take you here search for network. Okay, when you search for network, you will get a lot of things. The one I want is network dot enable option. Okay, I want network dot enable option guys click on that. This is nothing but the network dot enable. So here I'll type the same command inside this end network dot enable. Select this one here lot of nulls are there three nulls are there in place of each and every null here. Just uh, go to the new line here. Each and every null just type optional. Optional dot empty just type this. Simply type optional dot empty in place of each and every null. Optional dot empty. This will enable the network guys. Okay, I don't have to pass any parameters or arguments to these parameters here. Simple provide optional. Okay, optional empty and uh, and we are enabled uh, and we have enabled the network. Once you have enabled the network, okay. Once you have enabled the ne network, now let's try to retrieve the network logs from the network tab. So for that. I have to say dev tools dot add listener. Okay, we have to listen to the 
all the logs that are request logs that are displaying under the network tab when you load that particular page right so add listener here first thing what we have to type is again go to the chrome devtools protocol page same page and here again search for network and network dot just search for request network dot request here you see there's something like network dot request will be sent this one we want okay click on that so a lot of things came again here we want request will be sent network dot request will be sent click on this so this is the one guys okay network dot request will be sent so here type network dot request will be sent okay this one you have to call after that here in place of this nil in place of this null i have to provide the lambda expression just give any variable name say request okay request like this lambda expression followed by provide the curly braces inside the curly braces write the code system dot out dot print ln so here i'll say request url colon this variable i will use okay this parameter i will use plus request dot get request dot get url i have to type okay so this will retrieve the this will retrieve the url of each and every network log that is displaying under the network tab okay i showed you a lot of uh, network logs right each and every network log was having a request url when i click on the network log you are able to see the url request url was there along under the request url we also have request method and many other things were there so for a sample guys i will only collect the request url even though a lot of things are possible to retrieve from the network logs i will only take request url and request method here i'll request method i will say okay request method colon here say plus request dot get request dot get method okay i'm only retrieving the url and method though many things are possible from the request only this two details i am trying to retrieve for each and every network log the url of the request url of the network log and also request method of the network log will be retrieved and printed in the output because i am using print ln statement after that now i will load the application guys once this setting is applied once this devtools setting is applied now if i use this driver okay driver dot get if i open this application url this example url guys all the network logs that were displaying under the network tab of this page okay for each and every network log the url and method will be retrieved request url and request method will be retrieved for each and every network log for that particular page I, after that i'll simply close the browser let's run this code let's wait for the browser to launch maximize We'll go to that application URL. You see, once the browser is closed, you see all the request URLs and request methods of each and every network log, which from the network tab got retrieved and printed in the output here. You see, this is the first network logs request URL and its request method, get method. And this is the okay, second one, dot js one, dot get. Okay, that get method. You see, dot js again get all the things got retrieved guys all the things okay all the network logs related request urls and request methods got retrieved and printed in the output so guys this is how we can intercept or retrieve the network traffic logs from the network trap using selenium okay so that's it guys thank you bye